if you're ready, let's jump. Come on, if you're ready, if you're ready, let's jump. Jump, jump, jump. We're going to take you on a little tour of all of the BBC music that we did this week, and this was one of our favorite songs. You've never heard me say that. This was one of our favorite songs, and it starts with a heartbeat. Just like that, so you can join us in the action. Listen quietly. Can you feel your heartbeat? Feel your heart beat, beating strongly. Feel the life that God's given you. Feel your heart beat, calling loud. Man built his house 
everyone. Good work. Uh, Dirksen, I think the original composer. And uh, this was all about strength rise as we wait on the Lord and serve the Lord. Why don't you stand with us and sing? Director of Children's Ministries here at Westmount Presbyterian Church. And for this VBC, I was the director of the VBC. And I was also running a couple stations, which was very, very fun. I was helping Jason run games, which was amazing. Uh, what we did on the first day was we were in obstacle training mode because heroes, we needed to Get into, get into gear and train how to become superheroes. And it was, the first theme of the day was our heroes have heart. And so we wanted to get our hearts pumping too. And then also with Mitchell, who isn't here with us today. Mitchell's online, we'll see you later of course. Uh, we did theater. And so for that we watched a wonderful Veggie Tales movie which was so silly. It's the, it's the League of Incredible Vegetables based off of uh, Avengers and the, 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 what's the DC one called? The League? 
I forget what Justice League. <laughs> Justice League. I was blanking for a second. Uh, and well, so we watched that, which was very on theme with our theme of I will have courage on the second day. And we also, for theater, did an interactive Bible story where we built altars, much like Elijah, and had hope on the fourth day, because hope was the theme of that day, uh, that it would alight on fire. We had fun streamers, etc., cetera, to, to recreate that Bible story. And so, and oh, and I had like at least 10 games that we played, whether it was uh, Hulk, Hulk, Flash, like Duck, Duck, Goose, or Pass the Kryptonite or Hide the Kryptonite, and just all sorts of superhero games. I don't freeze freeze tag. I don't even think we got through all of them. It was just such a fun time to play those camp games with the theme, and it was really amazing to see kids <laughs> really make wonderful friendships. Because I remember one year ago today, we didn't know how many kids were going to come to the VBC because after COVID, as many churches have gone through, we kind of lost our kid crowd, right? And so we didn't know how many kids, for the first VBC ever since COVID, we didn't know how many kids were gonna come. And last year, we had around 24 to 28 on average show up. And this year, we had 40 sign up. And then we had around, I would say on average, like 26 to 32 come each day, which was wonderful to have much more kids and a lot of new faces. As you can see up there, on the very last day, we had uh, Kryptonite Chris pull some strings and uh, get us to have some firefighters come and be our examples of heroes in real life, which was just so, it was so educational for us too as adults, I found, because we had questions about their amazing super tools, about what they, about what they use to, to save people in real life and fight fires. Um, after that, we went on a parade. You can see some of our wonderful posters here that they colored throughout the week just around the sanctuary or at the front. That was one of our Bible stories we did in, in, at the beginning of the day, that photo there. We did that every morning as well. Um, but it was just so great to have the firefighters here as well. But as I was saying with, uh, with friendships being built uh, and seeing all of the kids here, the amount of kids grow and grow and grow. We have, we have a bunch of children, children's programs here that from that BBC last year, a lot of them came to participate in. Because of course, a whole bunch of kids go to other churches, right? And so sometimes we're not able to see them a lot. But we have some programs such as our after school program for Burning Bush Theater, which Kimberly and I do together. We did two musicals last year, as some, as you, as some of you know, and we're going to be doing two biblical musicals again this year. And so it's a, we're, we're, we're devising the signups and all that uh, later this August, and you'll know what musical that we're doing. And of course, that is free this year, just like last year. And we'll have a March break camp as well. That will be kind of our Vacation Bible Camp uh, musical as well, where the whole week we're going to be doing a musical, and then on the Sunday we're going to be putting on that musical. We did Easter Sunday this last year, and our Easter Friday, Good Friday, this last year, but it's going to be a Sunday this year, and so stay tuned for that. Uh, and as you all know, we have Sundays, uh, Sunday Children's Program, Sunday Children's Programming resuming in September. So right now, it's just Sunday, fun day, play time, where uh, after children's time during the service, we're going to go out and have some fun and just have free play time. But back in September, we're going to be doing some more crafts and games after children's time. So it'll be wonderful to see you then. Lastly, we also have children's choir, just like last year, around Christmas time and then the springtime, Kimberly will be putting on children's choir. So we have so many opportunities to have our friends who met this summer to come meet again. And so it would be so great if you took advantage of those programs and see your wonderful faces again, and we can just continue forward in building community in Christ. Thank you. All right. So this is the point of the service where second. we uh, consider yeah. an offering. Just one second. <laughs> Just one second. The flowers. The flowers. <laughs> you can give them. You can give them to Rachel. 
<laughs> These are. Yes. The, there is a package for them to go in and, and whatever goes with flowers. But this is just a thank, thank you from all of the leaders and, and kids and everybody at BBC for uh, being the director this year, Rochelle. And thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. Sorry. <laughs> I thought Eforma was coming for me. <laughs> I had my hand out ready for. Let's uh, let's, pray. <sighs> let's pray for the offering. God, thank you for uh, beauty, and thank you for blessing. We are blessed that we might then be a blessing to those around us. We pray that you might help us do that in different ways. In Jesus' name.
just before we sing Friends, Bella and Defoma are going to ring the friendship chime because they were special LITs all week long. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> 